In the ethereal realm of ancient Japan, where celestial beings danced amidst the clouds, there lived a formidable deity named Susanoo no Makoto, the tempestuous god of the sea and storms. His name, meaning, impetuous male, hinted at the untamed power that coursed through his veins. Susanoo was born from the nose of the primordial deity Izanagi, who had created the Japanese islands. As a child, he displayed an indomitable spirit and a penchant for mischief. His pranks and tantrums earned him the ire of his father, who banished him from heaven. Descending to the mortal realm, Susanoo found himself in the land of Izumo. There, he encountered a beautiful maiden named Kushinataheim, who was being terrorized by an eight-headed serpent known as Yamata no Oroki. The serpent demanded the sacrifice of Kushinataheim's sisters, and her father was desperate for a hero to save them. Susanoo, moved by the maiden's plight, offered his assistance. He devised a cunning plan to intoxicate the serpent with eight barrels of sake. As the serpent lay in a drunken stupor, Susanoo drew his sword, Tatsuka no Tsuruji, and swiftly severed its eight heads. From the slain serpent's tail, Susanoo discovered a precious sword named Kuzanaji no Tsuruji, which would later become one of the three imperial regalia of Japan. With the serpent vanquished, Susanoo married Kushinataheim and settled in Izumo. However, Susanoo's tempestuous nature did not subside. He continued to wreak havoc upon the land, causing floods, storms, and earthquakes. The other gods, fearing his destructive power, summoned him back to heaven. Upon his return, Susanoo was confronted by his sister, Amaterasu, the sun goddess. Amaterasu, angered by his actions, hid herself in a cave, plunging the world into darkness. The gods pleaded with Susanoo to appease his sister, but he refused. In desperation, the gods devised a plan to lure Amaterasu out of the cave. They gathered a group of musicians and dancers and performed a lively dance outside the cave entrance. The sound of the music and laughter reached Amaterasu's ears, and her curiosity was piqued. Slowly, Amaterasu emerged from the cave, her radiant light illuminating the world once more. Susanoo, seeing his sister's joy, repented for his past actions. He promised to control his temper and to use his power for good. From that day forward, Susanoo became a respected and revered deity. He was known as the protector of the sea and the bringer of storms, but also as a benevolent god who watched over the people of Japan. Centuries later, Susanoo's legacy lived on in the hearts of the Japanese people. He was worshipped as the patron deity of sailors, fishermen, and warriors. His image adorned temples and shrines throughout the land, a testament to his enduring power and the enduring spirit of the ancient gods. And so, the legend of Susanoo no Mikoto, the god of the sea and storms, was passed down through generations, a tale of tempestuous power, divine mischief, and the ultimate triumph of good over evil.